Assessments are one of the services offered by Border Collie Rescue at the York Centre. Here, two dogs have been brought along to see how they react to sheep and if it's likely they will be suitable for sheep dog training. The older dog, Ted, has strong herding drive but is a little rough around the edges, lacking finesse. But he's done very well indeed on his first attempt. Glenn the pup shows greater restraint and instinctive skill in spite of his youth, naturally balancing the sheep and keeping back, working them gently. Both dogs show signs of being natural herders and will make good sheep dogs with the right training. This dog is another matter. He's certainly excited by his rope lead, but the sheep are not doing it for him. No instinct to be triggered, it's just a game. The Dogs Trust have brought a dog to see how he will react around livestock. He is excited by the sheep and wants to chase, but his herding instinct is confused. If not controlled, he may be a bit of a liability. This dog has completed its SARDA training and has to pass a stock assessment before being graded as a search and rescue dog. His handler has brought him along for a one-to-one -to, -one to make sure his chances won't be ruined by chasing sheep. Well, I'm a police dog handler. Um, and I've been a dog handler for 19 years now. Um, as I say, they search for different types of drugs, uh, firearms and component parts of firearms, and, you know, they also indicate on ammunition. So if somebody breaks up a gun, mm -hmm. you know, the, the dog will find it because what they're looking for is certain scents that associate with the guns. I've always wanted to try Border Collie, so I actually contacted Border Collie Rescue and um, spoke to Nikki. She came up with this dog called Gus, who is actually Bryn. I changed his name to Bryn. And he was about 14 months old. Um, and he came back with us for assessment. And we've never looked back since then, basically. Yeah. The first assessment around the sheep wasn't interested. Uh, interesting, really, because he looks the epitome of a, a wonderful working sheepdog, wonderful sheepdog clothes, markings in all the right places. But when he was allowed to go up to the sheep, it didn't do it for him, basically. And so then we look, started to look at um, other um, directions for him and uh, looked into the ball and the search work. And immediately that was, yes, why didn't you give me that one first? So at the same time, just at that point, um, Alison put her application in and I thought, ah, oh, this could well be the one for Alison. And that's how he went on. And uh, I think it was a match made in heaven, really. They were um, very well suited. Bryn has played a key role in many searches. Um, some bobbies had chased a lad uh, who, was, who was known for drugs and he chucked some over a fence into an industrial estate. So this was early hours of the morning, about three, four o'clock in the morning. I was called across. Um, we managed to gain entry into this compound and put Bryn out to search and he was searching away. Um, and we were all expecting it to be on the ground somewhere or within some sort of the shrubbery or something like that. Anyway, to my amazement, he actually went and indicated at the bottom of a drain pipe. and. Um, sort of with knowing the dog so well after after working with him um, and just his positive indication I said it's on the roof basically it's on the roof so obviously we couldn't get up to the roof so we called the fire brigade out and sure enough as he chucked it the drugs were on the roof. Bryn is 11 years old so he's approaching retirement Unfortunately, he's, he's having to be retired this year. Um, I say unfortunately because he loves to work um, and he's been such a good dog. And to replace him? I would like another board collie, yes. I really would. But it has to be like Bryn. <laughs>
Back in the six acre field, Gail is going solo, without Doc to supervise her and boost her confidence. She does a good outrun, picks the sheep up gently and brings them all back across the field to Nikki. Nikki gets her to drive the sheep over to the camera and hold them there. Next, it's driving them back to the gate again. Gail is coming on well, is responsive to commands and is allowing her natural abilities to come out. Although she is still a bit quick, she is young and will steady as she gains more experience and age. Having got the sheep back to the corner, she sheds off a few and holds them, resisting the inclination to bring the whole flock together. She's learning fast and gets the praise she deserves. She'll soon be ready to take over the job and Dot can get some well-earned retirement. <laughs> Sally is due to go off to her new home shortly and it's time for the last run out with the pups that remain. Only three left. Meanwhile, it's not all work, and John, Spot and Cap have a play in the garden. Cap is now 15, and a bit unsteady on his legs, but he's always thought like a puppy, and can't resist a game. John and Spot are having a rough and tumble, so Cap decides that he may give this one a miss, and leaves them to make fools of themselves. Spot may be older and more experienced, but John can run rings round him when he needs to. In episode 5, we meet Natalia, an RSPCA cruelty case. Biting Shep shows a soft side. We hear about Ram and Fly and their new home, and Gail gets on with the job. Join us then. <laughs>